Welcome back to Hunter x Hunter Anime Review. This is special number 17. This is where we get the 388 chapter of the manga, Deliberation. This took me a little while to read this because... Oh boy, there is lots of dialogue in here. Like, there's actually about a good full page of nothing but text. Yeah, I'm not kidding about this when it comes to a particular chapter. Okay. One thing I praise for this particular chapter is the fact that this is the first time in four chapters we did not start at room 1004. I mean, it felt like I was reading the same chapter three times in a row. In the case of chapters 3, 385, 37, it kind of was. This one, thank God, does not start there. Well, it doesn't show the number, because the past few chapters I have done that. Okay, so we start out with three guys who basically says our top priority is to learn Nen. Okay. And uh, and there is lots and lots of talking. Yeah, people talking Nen. Also, and I'm very happy to see this. Karapika shows up again. Yep, after being absent from last chapter, he finally shows up. As of what the heck he's been up to since, since two chapters back, no idea. So yeah, we have people. Yeah, we have this princess who basically apparently has gotten in, and they want to learn about it. So they had one person, uh, one one of the her guard, try out using the water trick. This is typically how all of the people who who get the chance to know Nen exactly like what type of ability they are. And he uses it. He uses Nen ability on the thing itself, and things are flowing. So that means he's an enhancer type. Okay. Stimulate growth. Yeah, which would be able to turn ice into a piece of a plant. Okay. Oh yeah, and Krapika still has his chain thing around his hands. Yeah, he's had this since, since the fam troop arc. He's had it for a long time, but here's the thing. He hasn't really you now he may have packed one one of the fingers, uh one of his five fing one of his ten fingers that uh, he put a knife in his heart and that he would only use that particular ability on one of the one of the fam one of the fam troop members. He killed one of them. I actually killed two of them in the manga. In the show, he killed one. The one he killed in the show was actually in the doubles was by Patrick Stoltz. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this guy apparently going out, going to try out Nen. He uses a pretty regular, basically just holding his fists together and basically do a power up move. Yep. So about fingers, and then we see. The chains go after the princess. She, she uses, she ch tests her out, acting her ability, and she's also enhancer as well. Okay. Like with other stuff, stuff like that. I'm grateful the fact. I'm, I'm glad that crap I get, get to get my dialogue in here because. I would say he hasn't got much in quite some time, but he's talking a lot this whole chapter. Oh yeah, and then we see he got to room 1005. Not 1004, 1005, a different room in the ship. Oh yeah, and also it's been 10 days. It's the 10th day of the cruise. Are they close to the Dark Hunter yet? Unknown. And here is where we have a problem. Okay, we have an entire page of... Almost nothing but text. I mean, my gosh. It's kind of like this something out of one of the character... It's one of the character dictionaries. Yeah, it's like, okay, let's just... I particularly see this in a light novel, but not a regular chapter of manga. Oh my gosh, it was like so much reading through this thing. It took me a little while to finally read this thing and kind of understand what was going on. And apparently some kind of rumble going about the going on and interview shrinking him. And that's it. Uh, what did I give this chapter? I'm going to give this chapter a roughly a 8 out of 10. This stuff does happen. But my biggest criticism of this chapter is the wa big humongous wall of text. Almost two full pages of text. Which is ridiculous. A manga book should not do this. I know a comic book has done this once. Where you have nothing but big amounts of text for no reason. And that was the issue of Marvel. I've never read Marvel. Marvel, the um, the series that was published by written by, published Marvel Comics written by Bill Jimenez back in 2000. 
Yeah, I've never read it, but I heard it. The series is really bad. There's a whole issue of nothing but text. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the reason. Now, it's an okay chapter, and it does progress the story forward. But the only reason why I took a point off of this thing is normally I would give this probably like a 9, maybe 9.5 out of 10. I took a point off of it because of the huge wall of text. I mean, there is so much of this. I don't mind text. At least the dialogue stuff. I don't mind that. But to have two full pages of this thing, I'm not sure what the heck Takashi was thinking when doing this. I don't know how it was ended like, really like, like, really, man? You have two full pages of text. Have something happen on these two pages. I don't know. Maybe he has some pull. I, mean, I have no idea. Maybe because he has some pull because he created my because he created Yu Hakushu. Another idea because he has pull because not only created Yu Hakushu, but because his wife is one of the most wealthiest of all the manga artists in Japan. Because she still gets royalties for Sailor Moon stuff. Mm -hmm. That's my possibility. Okay, so that's it for this particular review. Stay tuned for my review of Attack on Titan. That is next, okay? Because, yes, it did come out, so I'm going to do that one. I'm reading newest chapter for that rather than put this review up, okay? But here's your next review. Bye.